Okay, I'm recording this afterwards. I thought I had recorded before, but I didn't. These paintings where the tears had happened, there was a lot of pressure on them, and I didn't get them, you know, right away and uh, uh, fix the tear. As a matter of fact, it's been a few days. So they had a, a bulge in the canvas. Both of them did. And uh, you'll see me later tapping on this to show you how tight it is. This one had a bulge. I think it was right here. Um, and it was about this large, just swollen out. And it would just, you could press it and it would, you know, cave in and pop back out when you pushed on the side. And there are there are some products that they sell uh, to tighten up your canvas, but what I use is this is plain water in a spray bottle. I'm going to do it again on this because I, um, uh, like I said, I thought I was recording earlier, but I just want to show you how much. I just, on the, I'm not going to spray up here where my uh, patch is on, on this, but uh, I'm uh, just going to spray the back and I uh, you could maybe do this with a wet cloth, but again, it's plain water. There's nothing else in here. And there's, I know there's some product that you can buy from an art store that's going to probably cost, I think it was between six and seven dollars last time I looked, but again, plain water. And I'm just going to lightly, four, five, six, seven. And that's it. You leave this set flat on anything. And when that dries, the, this is cotton. And you know, might remember uh, the old uh, pure cotton shirts that they, they made uh, maybe in the, what, 60s, 70s? If you, <laughs> when you wet those things, they'd shrink up. Well, this shrinks too. It's not treated, not, you know, the, the cotton shirts that they have now are, are a blend, usually cotton, uh, poly. And uh, this isn't. It's just cotton. And it will and it'll shrink right up and you will get an extremely uh, tight, drum tight canvas. Alright, and uh, so I'm going to leave that to dry again, but uh, that will not hurt it. Uh, just that amount of water is not going to cause the paint to lift on the back or anything. So uh, that's all that that needs and this will work on brand new canvases too. Sometimes in the uh, in the stores you'll, you'll see one that's got and it'll just have like a little bubble on it where it's just, you know, stretched. And, um, anyway, that's all it takes. Plain water. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I left out? Anyway, let's get on with the video and I will be showing you this after it's dry from there. Okay, my canvases are totally dry. And I even, uh, to speed this up, I took a, uh, uh, a blow dryer and just held it up a little bit and hit it and I didn't I don't want it getting real hot I do have paint on the other side of this and so I don't want to you know heat my my paint up a lot but I uh, I've dried it and this let me just do you hear it tight as a drum it's not it's not uh, buzzing at all anymore none at all it's just totally gone the bulge and I didn't you know do anything to press it or anything I just uh, did that so now I have my my little tear here there right there and it closes up visually pretty good when I just do that and I don't know if you can see let me try this up close it has got some little um fibers on it here and I kind of I want them toward the back so I just push them back in there one side had the fibers this side did and that side didn't so I'm pushing them toward the back <clears throat> I try to get on here so you can there it is and can you see maybe little fibers I want them on the back I just don't want them showing through so <clears throat> I'm gonna lay this down here all right, that's as good as I can zoom in, and here it is, and it's across this way and down this way. All right, what I'm going to do is um, take a, I'm going to make a patch out of some canvas that I have, and I don't want this square because wherever there's a corner, corners just catch things easier. So I'm just gonna, oh, just gonna cut a section out. Of I like it to be a little bigger than the, again, I don't want corners on here. And you could do this whatever shape, I guess, but 
and you know if the corners were laying down like this they they could come up and something come along and just catch it and it would just start eventually peeling it's just harder to do on something that doesn't have corners so I'm gonna get rid of that <clears throat> all right there's my patch and I'm going to uh, put it over I'm gonna put it over it didn't really have a right or wrong side one side has uh, one side's plain one side has gesso on this uh, this canvas that's on here, both sides have a little bit of gesso on it. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is, this is this line that it's, it's just right up next to that. So I'm going to take it and slide it under here. And make this cut from here to here in the center of this as much as possible. Okay. So, just so this will match better, I'm going to do this. And I've squirted a little bit of acrylic gesso onto a little lid that I have here. And I'm going to paint my patch with it. So I could put it on there, but I don't really want to work it down into there and just get it on the other side of the canvas. And I want this thoroughly coated, but I don't want it uh, so so thick like this that it's going to, you know, again ooze through there. I just want an even coating on it. And just make sure that I have it all over it. And a little bit on the back, it won't matter. Um, and there's my even coating of it. Some of this may come through the front. And it's not exceptionally thin, it's not exceptionally thick. I don't really know how, it, it just I want to make sure there's enough to you know, soak in here and soak onto that canvas and make sure that it's going to uh, to adhere. Again, my gesso is acting as my glue. So, I've got this here. You can see it's curling up because it's wet. And I'm going to take it and slide it in under the edge of my support here to make sure I've covered that crack completely. And here's my cut. And I'm getting that in the middle of it and I'm going to press this out with my fingers and uh, you can use <coughs> excuse me an old credit card uh, you can press it with just, just with your fingers and that's fine uh, hold one side from the middle come out and make sure there's no bubbles hold from the middle and come out now what I want to do is take something heavy and flat and put it on there because wet things want to curl and stretch and bend and shrink and all that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> just some uh, baking soda that I have. Generic works just fine for this. <laughs> so, I'm going to take it and move this and I'm going to just set this on top of here. You could have a little wooden block on there and then set this on top just the same. I'm going to do one more. Here's my cut here and I'm going to look on this side and it's almost through this way too. So I've got a straight line from here going up to the here. Here to here and going over this way. And it's going to be the same process on there. <clears throat> That's how long it is. So I'm going to make mine patch a little bigger. And Again, take the corners off. That's just so something doesn't catch on it. They won't hurt anything. It's just, uh, and you know, not a lot's going to be going on back here. But through the years, something could catch on here. I want to make sure if there's any fibers. There are some. Here's one, a dark right there. It's on the back. I could trim that off. And I will. Okay. Uh, again, no fibery thing sticking out the front. Okay. And I'm going to coat this real well with my gesso, just like before. Excuse me, my voice is a little off tonight. I'm not, um, I need to 
drink some tea or something. Okay, again, it's not real thick, it's not real thin. All right, can't get this in water quick or it will seize up. And I'm going to take this again and because this cut's going underneath the edge here. See, it's, it goes up this way. Long and it goes up this way. Let's see how far. Okay, it's got about a half an inch up this way. I'm poking this part in because I saw some little fuzz on it. I want that fuzz back here if I can. Okay, and I'm going to slide this up under the edge just because that's where the uh, the problem is. And hold it in the middle. And going to do this from the outside. Slide this under there and make sure I've got real good contact all the way around here. Alright. Now, on the front, this canvas may separate a little bit. Can you see a white line going through the horse's ear? Right here. Now that's my patch showing through. A little bit of gesso. And what I will do later is I'll come back and touch this up with my paint and you shouldn't be able to see anything. This is acrylic paint and I'll be using acrylic paint to touch it up. If this were an oil painting I would use oil paint to touch this up later. Um, if this were a plain canvas I could use just my gesso and do it. And uh, But since this is a painted canvas I'm going to be using uh, paint to do it with and let me just make sure because I picked it up that that has real good adhesion on there and but all right I will come back and show you when that is dry and uh, that's probably going to be in the morning um, another thing is while this right now I don't really have any just so I think coming off onto the ear but Let's make sure you can see where the crack is. There it is. I can take, I've got just a wet paper towel here. And let me get it centered. I've got a wet paper towel right here. And if I have any oozing out onto the front, I can wipe it off. However, I don't want to wipe straight across this way. I want to wipe with the cut in the canvas. So I'm going to, from here going toward the middle, just wipe straight down gently and wipe up and this cut this way because it's this way right here I will just wipe that toward the main part of the cut All right? because if I wipe across what will happen is I will lift one of these sides and have to start over so alright I'm going to put something heavy on this too and uh, We'll let that dry and come back and touch up the paint uh, tomorrow. Okay, just a quick note. Um, when this feels dry to the touch, it may not be dry just yet. And the way you'll know is your fingertips are very sensitive to uh, heat and cool temperature changes. And put your hand on the canvas here, your fingers, and then move it over the patch. And if the patch feels cooler, it's still got dampness inside of it, even though the surface is dry. And so you'll go ahead and let that continue to dry and it's still it's just cool right now and I'm not going to rub it a lot because I don't want to lift the edge or anything here and um, again here's my tear through the ear and it went to the side and this way and this has if I run my finger not my fingernail I don't want to open it um, it's a very slight little uh, uh, indentation on it and what I need to do is I will be filling this with acrylic paint again so I'm gonna set that down and uh, I don't think you'll need to see any of me uh, painting over that is you know kind of uh, straightforward to what I usually do I'll, I'll put a link to uh, me painting somewhere else and here is the other one uh, I'll just set that down uh, here's my patch on the back and uh, here's 
see if I can. I have to look behind the camera to make sure I'm showing you. Where is it? It's hard to see on the camera, but okay, right here. It's in an L shape. It goes this way, and then up. And there it is. And uh, it's drying very well. I, this one just barely will need any paint at all on it. Just barely. And uh, again, these are. I'm, I'm tapping them with as tight as they can be. Hmm. That's not going to come off. Hmm. Hmm. It's just. It's stuck. Hmm. So uh, I wanted to show you that the gesso will. And here I'll. It's not going anywhere. Hmm. So. That's that. And. Uh, Make sure you see it all the way around, and it's connected at all spots. It, for some reason, it's looking darker here on the camera, but it's flat on there. It's stuck, not going anywhere. And again, you can see where the scratch is. And this isn't going anywhere. So that's that. Good luck. And I want to thank uh, a friend of mine on Facebook. I'll give you all my Facebook link. I, I don't. Uh, I, I have quite a few people on there. I'm not sure how many I can talk to, but <laughs> I, uh, uh, I tore these earlier today because they were um, they were in a closet and the shelf, shelf fell, a metal shelf, and it went through this one and uh, really uh, just ripped that one and you know pressed hard against it and did a little ripping. But um, anyway. Uh, uh, I was real discouraged. I, I posted on there that I tore two paintings. I was ready to burn them. <laughs> Just uh, real discouraged. Um, but he showed me that uh, his mom who passed away had a painting that had gotten torn and um, needed to know how to fix it. So I probably wouldn't have done this for myself, but because his mom was someone really, really special to me, I uh, I decided to go ahead and and do this and uh, his mom's Kathleen and she's she was a great friend of mine and uh, thanks Dave for asking me because I just saved two paintings because of it that's all bye bye okay the last little bit is that once this is uh, dry, what you can do if you want to cover the back of this and make it look, you know, uh, you know, kind of restore it back to looking professional, is you'll take brown craft paper and uh, cut it to, um, not quite to the edge, but almost to the size of the canvas, and you just glue the edge of that all the way around the canvas, and it will um, have the uh, the back completely covered. That no, you can't see the patch at all. Um, and some people will put uh, their own, you know, sticker on there. I would put, you know, uh, Tina Jones art or something like that. Anyway, that is that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.